Structural integrity is very key in any build. In this story, we're going to meet amazing minds that are going to endorse that and much more. Come, let's take a look. So, umeko kijaribu kujenga na unapata, eh, hey, kwako black cotton soil ni deep. Umechimba, umechimba, imekata. Unajua uki excavate, alafu kuja ubackfill, itakula materials mingi. So, uneza fanya nini? Uneza tumia beam and block technology kwa your foundation. So, what you need to do, unajenga tu columns, unapandisha columns vizuri, zikisha panda kutoka kwa. Za foundation hiyo ni, maybe neza kuwa pad, ama you do uh, ground beams. Ukifanya hizo vitu zote. Hii iko concrete wanaleta tu beams and blocks wanaweka hapo hivyo mambo ya backfilling ina kuimeisha so we save nini like uh, i would say 50% ya yeah, construction cost ya foundation this is a, a residential project this the site is kind of slope it's not like the traditional uh, flat site if you walk around you'll see we have a basement floor then we have the other units up so we'll have some facilities, e.g. the garage and the basement. Then we can have, we'll have the house on top. We chose eco-concrete eh? because eco-concrete is specialized in making precast slabs. As eco-concrete, we sell you the complete package of the beam and the block. The block is usually an integral part of the slab whereby it has met all the standards for its design, cured and tested before delivering to the site. Getting a block from eco-concrete for your slab ensures the structural integrity of your slab. Outsourcing the block from somewhere else, whereby you won't be sure of the strength, you won't be sure of the curing time. This is a structural block. With it, it has a weight of 16 kilos and has a compressive strength of 3.5 kilometers, making it the integral part, structural bit of the slab. By structural block, what do I mean? One, the mixed design is complete. Two, the block has attained its full curing period. And three, it has undergone the crushing test to ensure that it meets the safety standards. An unstructural block poses risk to your site in that if it's not properly cured and the mixed design is not correct, it might crash while loaded. <laughs> 